Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. In this tutorial, I'll show how to crochet a woven cord, which has a braided texture on both sides. This can be used for handbag handles and purse straps, accessories like belts, along with keychains and jewelry items like bracelets. To begin, I'm using about three yards of 100% cotton macrame cord in a size five millimeter for my sample, along with a 10 millimeter crochet hook. Other sizes can be used as well for this woven cording. This larger size makes it easier to see things in the tutorial. I'm making a slip knot in the middle of my three yard cording, and I'll have about 1.5 yards on either side of the slip knot. I place my crochet hook inside of the loop and I don't really tighten my knot at all, since I'll need to insert the crochet hook into the knot. I am inserting my crochet hook into that little bottom loop of the slip knot, making a yarn over my hook and pulling the loop through, and then through the remaining loop on the hook. It's important to keep the two 1.5 yard strands on either side of the slip knot separate, Sometimes I'll be working with the one strand and other times the other strand. Now I'm turning my work to work on the other side and with the other strand of yarn. I insert my crochet hook into that little bottom loop of the stitch I just made. Then I make a yarn over as before and pull it through and then through the remaining loop on the hook. And I keep my strands separated. For this tutorial, I'm really stretching the cords out so they are clearly visible to see. Going forward, I turn my work and just insert my crochet hook into the top loop only. There are two visible side loops. However, I'm only working with the top loop only. Yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. I turn my work again, drop the yarn that I was just using and pick up the yarn on the other side of the work. And just like before, I insert my crochet hook just in the top loop only of the two side loops. Make a yarn over and pull it through both of the loops on the hook. Then I turn my work again, taking note which strand will be worked with next. I insert my crochet hook into the top loop only of the two side loops. Make a yarn over and pull it through both of the loops on the hook. And then I turn my work again and repeat the process. This can be done for as many loops as needed to create the size of the handle, bracelet, and whatever item necessary. Once the size of the item has been completed, it is time to fasten off the work. I find that making a yarn over with the strand on the other side and pulling it through the loop helps secure the work. However, a knot at the top might also be beneficial along with a dot of fabric glue if needed. I like to weave in the ends a bit inside of the work to help secure them even further. This can be done with a crochet hook by pulling the strands through and trimming off the excess. And then a keychain ring can be added to the end if using this for purse handles and other similar items. And that's it. That's how I crochet a woven cord.